Hi, welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. So, as you saw in the previous video, I upgraded the Myri's um, headlights to LEDs and I was very, very impressed with it. So, I'm thinking maybe I should do the same for the Inspira. Alright, so the Inspira is currently on HIDs. And let's see the comparison with LEDs. All right, you can clearly see that the LEDs are much brighter than the HIDs. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so with the MyV, I could actually get the H4 uh, LED projectors, but for the Inspira, it's different because the uh, low beam actually uses 9006 uh, bulbs. All right, so for that, there's no projector version of those. Uh, so I've got this North Side uh, LED headlights. This is the model um, N37, which is their top of the line. Uh, it costs a bit, uh, about 200 over ringgit. I'll get to that later in the summary. But from the build of it, um, I think it looks pretty good. So let's unbox this. Okay, so it comes with an instruction manual. Uh, warranty. All right, I'll throw that aside. It comes with some cable ties and two LEDs with uh, do in fan and drivers. All right, seems pretty simple. This is the nine oh oh six connectors. Alright, so there's two of it. Alright, try not to touch the uh, LED chip with your fingers because our fingers are dirty. Alright, so there's one here and one here. And the good thing about this is that it is directional. So even if you mount it, okay, observe here. Alright, you can still turn it. Alright, to get the best pattern. This is one thing I like about this LED. Alright, so once we install it, we can actually adjust it. Okay. So we put the mount in, this is to the headlight, then we will plug in the LED. Alright, I'll show, uh, I'm just roughly showing it to you right now, later I'll show to you how it's installed, alright, and then you can just, just turn it, alright, notice that the mount don't, doesn't move, alright, so you get the best beam pattern, alright, let's see how good it is later, alright, so let's get to the car and let's get to this. Okay, so I've installed one side. Let's have a look. Alright, clearly you can see which is more superior. This is not as bright. This is bright. Can you guess which is the HID? This is the HID. This is the LED. Alright, looks like the cutoff looks good as well. Alright, there's not much spray, uh, stray beams. This is just miserable in comparison, but... I will have to wait for the night time to see how how um, the cutoff beam is. All right. What I do notice is that it seems a little bit higher than the origin uh, original when it's on HID. It should be about the same level when I adjusted it. All right. So on the Inspira, I'll tell you how how that can be resolved. All right. It can, the beam can be lowered, but I will have to wait for the night time to see. So I'm gonna teach you how to change that as well. Okay, so for my case, the HIDs, I actually cable tie over here, so I need to cut off the cable ties. Okay, then next you need to reach, reach down there and unplug the uh, HID bulb by holding the base of the bulb and then turn it anti-clockwise. If it's stuck on there really tight, just use a plier, wedge it in and just turn it. In 
okay and you see a plug over here just press and unlock and pull the thing up all right so you got the entire hid out okay for the led let's see how we want to install so as you as i mentioned earlier this is movable all right so how are you gonna plug it in and lock it okay so to lock it you need it to be clockwise okay so what you do is you turn the ring anti-clockwise all right so now when you turn this it's it moves together all right so once once it locks then you can move it around Okay, very simple, just put it in and lock it in place. Okay, if you have removed the rubber boot, then put back the rubber boot. If you have not, then just leave it as it is. Okay, so you can see the LED bulb inside. And like I mentioned, you can actually turn it. All right. Okay, and it's nice and tight in there. Let's have a look. Yep, it's definitely higher than earlier. All right, and if you are wondering what the focus does, all right, I'm going to show you in the daytime. All right, if we were to move it around, you will see the focus changes, all right. Okay, so I kind of like this pattern more. Okay, so let's see how it goes at night, all right. Okay, so this is how it looks like at night when I'm driving. Um, the condition of the uh, road isn't exactly very dim or very bright. It's just the normal uh, street lamps that you have. Okay, so as you can see from here, the, the cutoff of the lights seems to be good. Uh, I would say that it's, um, it's comparable with the HIDs in terms of cutoff, but brightness wise, it was at least Two to three times brighter okay it's much much nicer and there's not much glare or actually there isn't any glare to the uh, oncoming traffic as well okay so you can see over here um, doesn't seem like anybody's annoyed I, I'm not annoyed obviously I'm not annoyed um, yeah okay so as you can see from here the cutoff of the lights are pretty pretty good Alright, it doesn't flare all over, you do not see the lights uh, going to the sides or way up above or anything So there's no glare that will annoy people here Alright, and as you can see, the place where I want it to be lighted up, which is the road It's good, alright I, I dare say that it's about 2-3 to three times brighter than the HID itself Alright, and it's good Alright, of course, I can adjust the lights higher Alright, just to get a further view, but I decided against it because if I do that, there's also a chance of me glaring others as well. Alright, so this is one thing very important that everybody should know. When you change to a brighter bulb, it doesn't mean that you should adjust your, um, your light's focal point to go further. Alright, while it's tempting because it's brighter, you can, you can shine further. But the thing is, you also run the risk of glaring others. Alright, this is very important when you change a bug, you are not increasing the distance, but you're increasing the brightness of what you have. Alright, but it's up to you individuals. Okay. Okay, so.
let's talk a bit about this DIY, alright? How long it takes. Okay, so this took me roughly about 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes per side. So overall it's about 20 minutes just to change the bulb. There's no modification needed, there's nothing needed, alright? If you are on the original halogen bulb, it's even faster. Alright, you just unplug the socket, take out the bulb, put the new bulb in, plug in the socket, and that's done. Alright, this is a very simple DIY, but it does real, uh, it does you a very good result. Alright, it's much much better. Okay, so in terms of the LEDs, alright, so every car has different casings, different reflectors. Alright, so make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, they are the they are the headlight, uh, headlights with uh, reflectors, uh, projectors, and whatnot. All right. So make sure you know uh, what type of head, uh, headlamps you have before you do this upgrade. All right. I know um, those who have followed me on Facebook as well as commented on my um, channel before. I am highly against LEDs before this. Alright, because a couple of years back when I installed a LED onto the Inspira, oh, trust me, the light was everywhere but the road. Alright, you can basically see monkeys on trees, you can see cows at the side of the road, but you can't see the road. Alright, which is why I was absolutely against LEDs before this, but this new LED that I purchased, I guess technology have at once, it's been a couple of years since I did the last test. I love it. I seriously love it. Alright. I highly recommend this uh, this upgrade if you are looking into getting brighter lights. Alright. Forget HIDs. HID has a lot of uh, wearables to it. It has the ballast, it has the wires, it has the connections. And also it's it, it doesn't start up as fast, alright? HIDs needs uh, a startup time. Whereas LED is just and you're having it bright as hell. Okay, so in terms of cost, um, the LED cost me 200 ringgit. That's roughly about 60, 50 to 60, 70 US dollars. All right, this is the Northside N37, which is one of their higher end. Obviously, there is cheaper ones, but I've not been able to test them out. All right. Um, in terms of brightness, this is a 20 over 1000 lumens as compared to HIDs which is roughly about 5 to 8000 lumens. All right. In terms of the uh, consumption wise, it's not that much difference as well. I think this is a 22 watt uh, consumption per bulb. I believe it's per bulb. Uh, or is it 25 watts? I'm not too sure. All right. You can visit the Northside's uh, website to actually get a uh, uh, clearer picture on what it is or I will just put it over here uh, for you all to see after I've visited the website okay so I believe that's it for this DIY and if you like this video you know what to do if you dislike it you can always give us that but tell us on how we can improve further all right uh, yeah and if you have not done so hit the subscribe and hit the bell button so we get notified on our next up upload till then see ya